And what we did here today and the past days uh, is an outcome of many years of conversations about how we can shift the narrative, the story that we all breathe every day in terms of what is success <laughs> and uh, how we can create a world that works for everyone. And uh, we think, many of us that are here, that education needs to play a big role in that vision. The opportunity to reframe how we teach business, to empower people, to be with people in a workplace and create amazing things because we're doing it together, moving away from this uh, top-down hierarchical, I'm in charge here, you're going to do what I tell you. We know that doesn't work. To create something that's bigger than ourselves, bigger than Nikki, more bigger than Patrick, bigger than Bob, than Brian, to create a new education system that creates leaders that are humanistic leaders. And what is a humanistic leader? A humanistic leader is a person that when she or he starts an organization, it will be an organization that will care about people, that will care about the environment. I mean, academy of humanistic leadership, humanistic management, humanistic uh, teaching that we can use to, as a platform to spread this uh, idea globally uh, in the next three years. It's also going to be a collaborative space where professors from different domains and fields like economics and marketing or my field, organizational behavior, etc., finance, IT, I mean anything really, and even interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary from the liberal arts you know, um, realms can come together and share and draw on their own wisdom and share that wisdom and then collaborate with each other and also build a sense of community. In order to do that, um, several principles have been made very clear. Um, of course, the end goal is really that students are allowed to live their lives fully and authentically in the service of others. But to get students to that place, their professors, their teachers, their administrators, their deans also need to be able to live their lives fully and with dignity and um, authentically. Something I'm really inspired by is to discuss humanity, like the sense of being human, of being part of society, of our planet, of interact with each other, of being empathetic um, and care for each other. So this was one of the main takeaways because it's something that we, we don't reflect Often. Uh, you know, I wake up uh, almost every day uh, thinking about this uh, world that is being pulled towards environmental degradation and more inequality, uh, endemics, uh, you know, attacks on democracy, uh, but is also being pulled towards a more humanistic, more flourishing world. There are a couple of words that I take with me. Mm -hmm. Compassion trust and love for others mm -hmm. and uh, this idea would let me build up better classes, better courses, better programs in order to teach our students how to be more human mm -hmm. in a world that uh, everybody matters. After the three days here, I mean, I'm dreaming and dreaming about keep changing the world, but as I said last night, it's not that I'm dreaming alone anymore. This is great, it's a great uh, time for us to be reimagining like you know what we teach in our business schools and that's really what this project is all about. It's kind of like you know how, how do we teach in a way that kind of like you know can make the world a better place. Yeah. We now have a team of people that will go out there and spread the world and actually fulfill on this, creating a world that works for you.